Hi there. If you don't know, my name is Sierra Marquis. I have a Master of Business Administration degree and I went to school so you didn't have to. So the last time we talked, we talked about manufacturing costs. Today we're going to talk about non-manufacturing costs. Non-manufacturing costs generally fall into two separate categories, marketing costs and administrative costs. Marketing costs include all the costs that have to do with selling your items to include advertising, sales salaries, sales commissions, and the cost of the warehouse where you house your inventory. Administrative costs are any costs that have to do with running the business as a whole. So you can think of an administrative cost as a paper cost, i.e. general accounting, executive compensation, secretarial compensation, public relations, and any other employee salaries. Those are all administrative costs. So think of an administrative cost as a paper cost, okay? Those two costs can be further subdivided into two different categories, okay, for accounting purposes. The first category is a period cost, the second category is a product cost. A period cost is a cost that is only expensed on the income statement when the benefit occurs of that cost. A great example of this is insurance. Say you bought a two-year policy for your warehouse that's, that's housing your inventory. Both of those years will not be expensed in the first year. The first year will be expensed separately the second year will be added to the balance sheet as an asset. So that's why it's important to categorize all these things correctly because you need to have them correct or you're gonna get in trouble with the SEC. You don't want that. The SEC is the Securities and Exchange Commission as a reminder. You don't want those problems, trust me. They're worse than the IRS. <laughs> to put things into perspective. Anyway, a product cost is the cost of making or acquiring a product and it's not expensed on the income statement until the product is yes sold okay so the reason why you want to get this correct is because you want to know you want to have your revenue numbers correct if you don't apply put things on the balance sheet when they're supposed to or if you don't expense things properly it's going to look like you're losing money or it's going to look like you have more money than what you have and that will what get you in trouble with the sec so you need to have that correct, okay? So we're doing the income statement, which is gonna take us into the balance sheet, which is gonna take us to other different terms. And we're gonna use both of these things to eventually make the master budget. The master budget is important, like I said previously, because we wanna make sure that we can survive another four years, okay? five years okay more than five years we want to be in the other 40 and to be in the other 40 we have to be in control of our finances and i want you to be in control of your finances okay 